Hey guys, good morning's name, and today, Super Mario Sunshine is the game. Last time we went to uh, Rico Harbor for the first time, we faced Gooper Blooper, uh, we went on the Blooper Surfing Safari, and in this episode we're going to be heading back to Rico Harbor solely there just to get some shines done. We also went to Bianco Hills and got a lot of blue coins taken out of the way. But today all of our work is going to be in Rico Harbor. Again, argu arguably my least favorite area in the game, but again, I don't hate it. Like, I like the area, just my least favorite. Which, I mean, if a least favorite area, if you like your least favorite area, I think that says a lot about whatever game you're playing. But anyways, Rico Harbor, the cage, shine sprite. And if you guys remember me talking about one of my biggest complaints in the last episode was how hard it is to navigate around, you're getting ready to see. It. And that's kind of what this mission right here is all about, is just navigating around all the platforms. And I mean, some people enjoy this, I, I guess, but not me personally. I just find it tedious to get around. But um, it's not as tedious to me now as it used to be. Um, because now I'm more, oh, blooper, please watch out. I'm more used to, like, I can get around more easier in this game than I used to be able to. Um, right over here we have a new enemy. These are clamblers. Uh, yeah, clambers. Clambers, excuse me. Um, they will attack you, and yeah, right here he has his eyes set on me. We're just going to punch in the grate and be on the other side. You can also punch them off like that. He'll just kind of float off into the distance for all of forever. It's really weird. He doesn't apply. He does, like he doesn't answer to gravity. So yeah, he's kind of does his own thing. Uh, this pole, you're gonna want to make sure you don't slide to the bottom because if you do, you'll slide off. You're also gonna want to kind of get on the other side, right over here, or you can just climb all the way to the very top, jump, and just get around like this. That's my preferred way. Um, but yeah, I don't like this a whole lot. But it's not all that bad. But what makes it worse is the fact that I can't uh, stand on ledges easily. Is that there's wind spirits around who are kind of threatening to knock you off the platform and. Yeah, I think I was talking to somebody in the comments about how wind spirits are just plain evil, and they really are, especially in this mission. They're very inconvenient here. Just as long as you keep moving, you should be fine. Don't slow down, just keep moving, and you should be fine. I want to see two blue coins in the distance for us to get. Uh, please don't run into me. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, we should be good from now on. Anyways, bounce, bounce, and into the cage. And right here, you could also um, grab on that. That will put, put you on the bottom side of the grate right there, but I'd rather not. Let's just go ahead and get the shine. And another thing, I believe I showed this off, is if when you dive, if you choose to dive into the shine, and you press Y while you're diving, you get a weird camera angle, and then even further move it along with C, you get some really weird angles, so like, when you're imprisoning the shine, so like right here. Wrong way, but yeah, sure thing, shine Mario. All right, Rico Harbor, episode four, The Secret of Rico Tower. I thought that uh, episode five, the one that, the uh, one that's actually episode five, I thought was next, so I wasn't really ready for this. But okay, that's fine. Uh, this secret mission, it steps up the difficulty from the past ones. I think the past two were pretty easy, especially the first one. Uh, the last one we did had a little bit of a challenge too. I mean, I think it did die once, but yeah, this one here is a bit harder, at least in my opinion. Now I want to go in here and talk to these guys because nobody ever gives these guys any love. I mean, they're sitting here scraping the bottom of the ship, or at the bottom of the ship, but I guess the bottom deck of the ship. I think they deserve a little bit of attention. You know what I think? Even sailors need a break now and then. <laughs> oh man, poor guy. What do you think? I know you're just waiting for me to say something else. You're bugging me. Now, scoot! Okay, I, I wanted to give you guys some love and appreciation, but clearly that's not what you're wanting from me. Okay, we'll go ahead and leave you alone. Um, and if you press B, you'll fall off. So basically B is to punch while A is to hit up, I suppose, um, on these grates. Let's go ahead and back up here. There you go. Uh, now where we're wanting to go is right up here in that tower as the cutscene presented to us. And I really want to know what these guys are saying because they're looking up at the tower and that makes me curious. What are you guys looking at? This may be too hard for you to wrap your noodle around. <laughs> uh, excuse me? <laughs> but I can tell there's something suspicious about this tower. By the way, how come, how could anyone ever climb this thing? You, you don't know, do you? Well, I'm sure I can get up it. I'm kind of a platforming master. It's kind of what I'm known for, you know? You know, I can give out some pretty handy info now and then. Like that wall over there. It's, um, never mind. Wall over there? Not sure what you're talking about, but okay, that's fine. Oh, maybe he's talking about it on the ship over there. There's an M right over there we could spray for a blue coin. But yeah, we're not going to worry about that. For now, we're just going to try to get into the secret mission. So, uh, climbing right up on here, I think this is probably one of the easiest ways to get in is just spin jump and then float on up onto the platform and then from there just dive on in. I wonder if you can like dive like that 
you know, get into the kind of like the hitbox, for lack of a better term, to enter the secret mission and like fall off the tower. <laughs> That'd be really funny. Yeah. Rotating rectangular prisms. I think they're, these are harder. Well, I don't know if they're harder than the cubes, but maybe it's because there's more of them. I'm not so sure. I mean, if I had just a bunch of cubes over and over again, I suppose that might be a little bit difficult. But yeah, these are actually kind of difficult to uh, maneuver around because if you don't jump at the right time, you can really easily slide off. Um, I still like getting around with spin jumps. Just be careful with spin jumps. The thing about them is, is you're going to jump in whatever direction you, pay, you uh, point the joystick in last. So you can do a spin jump and go off the ledge accidentally like I did in my practice run. Now these rotating gears over here, they're definitely the hardest part of the secret mission, at least for me. Um, I'm still gonna use the spin jumps to get around. Um, but yeah, these are really difficult. And the, probably one of the hardest things about it is, is not over jumping what you're going for. Um, so like right here, I'm wanting to jump on top of this platform right here without like overshooting and like landing on the side of the gear and then sliding my butt off. That's really difficult. Sadly, if you ground pound any of these nails, they will not give you a one up. So that one up right there is the only one, well, the one that we're, coming, that we're coming up upon right over here, are the only ones in this mission for us to grab. But I think those gears are the hardest part. I mean, hopefully I didn't just jinx myself and I'm not gonna die from here. But those gears are the hardest part for me. I actually died, I think, like three times total in my practice run of this. And I really want to keep my deaths under 10, like I mentioned in the last episode. So let's see if we can do that. The thing, also the other thing about these blocks is like they'll rotate at different speeds. Uh, fortunately for us, this giant one over here does rotate rather slowly. Um, so my recommendation is like when transitioning from one side of the block to the other, jump and when you're in the air, kind of move around by pointing your joystick in the direction you want to go. Um, just kind of maneuver the physics of it a little bit. But that being said, shine. And for what's likely our final episode of the mission, or mission of the episode, excuse me, episode five, glooper, oh, not glooper, I'm, I've probably been, like, driving you guys crazy by saying glooper blooper, gooper blooper, excuse me, gooper blooper returns. Yep. The same boss from the first episode, they couldn't throw another boss in for us, no, it's the exact same boss, and you're about to hear me complain about this again in a moment, even though I do like that boss fight. Looks like that huge blooper thing is over at the hell, like, what did you say, the helipad? The, the helipad? No, I'm really bad at reading text if you guys have noticed. Uh, looks like that huge blooper thing is over at the helipad now. I can't see anything from here. <laughs> but he looks just as angry as his friend. He's just being angry, the, I guess, to fit on in. That's really funny that he says that. Okay, well yeah, we are going to want to make our way over to the helipad as it showed us. The captain's actually on his boat now, so how are you feeling? Seems that pesky blooper is back. Well, you just do your thing, and I'll take care of it, I'm sure. And you'll take care of it, I'm sure. Me? I'll be right here. Right here the whole time. Okay, Captain, don't worry. We will take care of it for you. You won't have to worry about it. Harming you or your ship. Although, that would be really cool. Like, imagine if the gooper was, instead of being on the helipad, it was, like, on the ship. It'd be kind of like a, um, like the Kraken, you know? Like, that'd be pretty cool. Kraken, Kraken, whatever you want to call it. I'll probably have someone, probably have half the viewers are very upset at me right now for whatever pronunciation I just chose. Uh, let's go ahead, and I think the easiest way to get over here, I think you can technically, like, maneuver around those boats and then get on that, yeah, you maneuver around those boats and those logs and get on that, uh, platform down there, then use the rocket nozzle, but I mean, what's the fun in that one? You can just spin jump, kind of my favorite jump, from this platform right over here and make your way over. So, you're thinking, this is the same boss, there has to be something new. This right here, I believe, is new, Ooh. right here, what he's doing, but other than that, the exact same boss fight, the exact same routine as well, sadly. Nothing really new about it, aside from him just playing, I guess, skip rope with you. Um, so what you're going to want to do is, again, you can like uh, hop onto his tentacles that way and kind of squish them, make it to where he can't use them for a little while. But again, he's just spraying his face and then pulling back his nose. And I know he said I like this boss fight a lot, and I do, but it just makes me kind of disappointed that they reused it again. Uh, for episode five of this world, I mean, but then I mean to be fair, they've done the polluted piranha plant many times, but I mean this was different from that, but they still end up repeating this twice. So it just kind of makes me, well, actually, as far as we know, only twice. So yeah, it just kind of makes me sad. But you can keep on running, and he'll actually rotate very quickly. It's kind of interesting. It kind of throws your brain for a loop if you're looking at the surroundings. You can probably get yourself dizzy doing that, but. 
must find a way to fight it. We've been fighting it. This is not only our second time fighting it, Flood, but we have just dealt a hit before this. So I'm pretty sure by now we know how to fight it. But okay, Flood. It gets really oddly quiet there in that cutscene. Um, I really wish... Which, by the way, there's that volcano in the background. That's really cool. I wish there was, like, an entire world made out of that. Like, the Yako Hills, Rico Harbor. I wish there was an eight-episode world made out of that volcano or being near it. But, oh well. That's fine. So, that being said, once again, shine. <laughs> and I love making Mario look at the wrong angle. Okay, that's, like, a, almost a complete 180. Oh, man. I'll stop doing that. But, uh, we are actually not very far into the video at all. I want to call it quits for this episode, but I don't know what the next mission is. I've already forgotten. So, let's go ahead and hop back in and see what we have next, and then I'll, that'll help me determine whether or not I want to continue going onward. I like finding new ways to jump into the M's, uh, so you can see, like, all the different poses Mario has when he's in mid-jump. Red coins on the way. Yeah, we're, we're not doing that. We're going to save that for one for next time. So, next time, let's play Super Mario Sunshine. We're going to head back to Rico Harbor. And, oh. Oh, it's this one! Oh. Ooh. Do I have the patience for that today? No, we're going to. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry for going back and forth. We are going to end things off here. Next time, let's play Super Mario Sunshine. We're going to go... Well, we're going to be here in Rico Harbor, and we're going to take on this mission, Red Coins in the Water. I've been Cameron Ronnie. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys back here next time. Goodbye, guys.